we have a 2009 FJR 1300. This is the AES model. I have the bags taken off in the back. No clutch. This is a two-part video. Radio number one will be removal and installation of the front wheel. As you can see, it's uh, these treads are pretty bad. <clears throat> it's pretty uh, gone. I've got about 12,000 miles on that Michelin Pilot Road 4, or I'm sorry, Pilot Road 3. Here's a rear tire, Michelin Pilot Road 3. This one's got about 500 miles on it, but I am going to replace that one as well because in one place here I put a nail through it and I plugged it up for about 100 miles but I don't want to ride it like that I just did it for last year until I stored it taking it out for the summertime oh there it is there's the plug right there so I'm going to take both wheels off uh, have them replaced and this is like I said two videos one for the front and I'll separate it for the rear apologize for it being so dirty as it has been stored all winter long okay here we have the front wheel removal uh, you have your front ABS sensor right here we'll pull this off we'll pull the reflector off we'll pull the caliper off here and uh, on this side we'll do all of that um, this caliper actually probably comes off right here and down here, so it'll come off pretty easily. Then we'll loosen these two uh, bolts up. We'll come over here, do the same thing here, pull the reflector off, the two calipers, loosen these two bolts off, up, and then remember your washers and your washers. So this is a 14 millimeter socket. We'll put that in there, loosen this axle up, pull this off. Notice I have floor jack onto the front with a board. I also have an extra strap from the top just to support it because I don't have a rear wheel on it right now. So we'll pull this front off and if I have it high enough, we should be able to do this without pulling that fender off. Okay, now you see I have the anti-lock brake sensor removed, the caliper removed. These are loosened. This is loosened up. Caliper's loosened. They're removed on the other side. Remember, when you loosen it, take this caliper off. It's a tight fit back here. So when you take all the bolts out, if you twist it a little bit to uh, push the so the um, the piston in gives you a little bit more room then you can pull out off the top and then pull it out it's a tight fit but it does work on both sides just make sure you compress the piston in give yourself a little bit more room wiggle room to wiggle that out do that on both sides also since you're doing that remember obviously when you put it back on you want to squeeze the brake a couple of times to fill that cylinder back up again and so you don't uh, not have brakes I loosened this up. I didn't take it all the way out. I left it in a little bit. This bolt here, right there, or um, I don't have a wrench big enough for that, obviously. So what I do is I have that loosened up just a little bit like that. Just really slight. You don't want to mess with the thread. Just notice rubber mallet. Really slight a little bit. Notice how it's pulling that out over, pushing that out over there. And then I'll take this off more. And voila, I've got enough room over here. I can twist that and then I'll pull that right out and then the wheel will come off. And then we'll uh, hang everything up and get ready to put new wheels on, or new tires on. Got the tire off. Notice I got a little bit of room here. I had to angle it, so make sure you angle it out. Otherwise, if you want to take the fender off, you can. I choose not to. On this side, there's this washer. There's our spacer. It'll come out. I don't bring this to the tire shop when I have them change my tires. I leave this out. 
but I'll leave this down and I'll put it on the axle right there. On this side, I will also take the ABS part off. Just like on the back, this ABS sensor has a little slot right there. That slot has to match up right in here with this. So when it goes back in, it'll go back in just like that. So that way this is in the, same, the right spot. Just like on the rear, notice do not put a magnet on this. So they will get that taken care of and we'll put new, new skins on this and put it back together again. I am going with uh, Avon STs this time. These are Michelin pilots. Going with Avon STs, they're a lot less expensive. They have a included road hazard and we're supposed to have a very good tread life. We'll see if I get as good a tread life out of it as I did with these Michelins. So I will collect all my nuts and bolts, put them together. These I don't like to leave hang, so I will uh, support them up, hang them with a little coat hanger until I put them back together again. And we'll put this back together and see what happens. Okay, here we have the new Avon Spirit ST going back on. Remember the magnet side. It's going to be on the left side as you're riding the motorcycle. So, as we look at this, this piece here, remember we'll go back in here and it'll go on like so. I'll leave that, I can take that off now. I know where that'll be. Remember, this piece has this little slot right here. It's by this little slot right here. It's gonna go right in here. Make sure that lines up, okay? The other thing you wanna do is make sure you take the, the piece of the axle off here. If you look at my other video or the earlier part of this, I told you about this piece goes right in here. So now this will go right in. And if you like me, you notice it's just a little bit off. They don't have the motorcycle up high enough, so I just have to tip it to the side a little bit and we'll go in. Notice I have new metal valve stems are angled because I am going to put a tire pressure monitor system on this eventually. So we'll put this on, put the axle in, and then we'll be ready to start putting the brakes back on. Okay, now you see we have the axle in and it's not tight. This will rock back and forth. Remember that key there. Remember the spacer here. This goes all the way in. We can tighten this up tight. Now we'll tighten this to the specified torque rating. Uh, and then we'll tighten these up and these up. And after those are tightened up, then we can put these calipers back on. They'll have to bend in a little bit, obviously, to get in there. Uh, put the calipers back on and we'll be all set with the front. Okay, we have our calipers, our ABS all hooked up. Torque specs, 66 foot-pounds on this, 29 on your 29 foot-pounds on your calipers here, and 15 foot-pounds on these. Okay, 15, 29 on your back calipers. After I put it all together, I usually want to spin it. Make sure it spins. Make sure there's no binding or anything like that. Everything looks good. Remember to squeeze your brake a couple of times to set those calipers and you're all set. There's replacing a front tire on an FJR.